Welcome to Hidden Heights Farm. I'm Kevin. If you're new to the channel, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe and check out all my other videos. So we got some severe weather warnings for our area coming tonight and early into the morning. And this is not really anything new for Oklahoma. So it's almost springtime. It's March, beginning of March right now, but uh, the weather is getting to where it can be severe. And tonight we are supposed to get very large hail, severe gusty winds like 70 plus miles per hour and the chance of several tornadoes. So we have this storm cellar here, bunker, that we are going to probably have to get in sometime in the middle of the night and maybe in the morning. Um, just because there's a warning does not mean that there will be tornadoes, but the weathermen are usually pretty good about telling us when to expect a tornado and you don't want to take a chance with your life you know so even if it is in the middle of the night you got to be prepared to get your family into safety in the cellar so I am going to check out the cellar because we haven't used it yet this year thankfully and it's always full of bugs and it's nasty in there so I'm gonna to try to clean it out a little bit so if we do have to rush into here in the middle of the night, you know, it'll be cleaned out. Scorpions and centipedes and spiders always love getting in there. So I'm going to try to clean it out a little bit and see what we got in there. Alright guys, like I said, we haven't had to use it yet this year. So it's going to be nasty and full of bugs. Dirt daubers, scorpions, spiders, all kinds of good stuff. So we're in the cellar and as you can see these things get super dirty which is fun for me but the kids and the wife don't really like it so I'm gonna try to clean it out a little bit all right guys so I brought my little mobile vacuum down here to try to vacuum this out before I sweep it out so I'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit Scorpion is dead, of course, but that's one reason we try to keep it cleaned out. Just because the scorpions and the bugs like to get in here. Nobody likes to get in tight places with scorpions and spiders. So the cellar is six foot deep, and I'm right at six feet tall, and I got a few inches clearance above my head. And this thing is either four or six inches thick, I can't remember. And then you got your steel door right here, and it locks. So this is just about the safest place you can be if you're in a tornado. Below ground is always better than above ground, but they do have some really nice safe rooms and such like that now that people buy and put in their houses. But we, we decided to go with the cellar that's underground, just a little bit more secure in my opinion, but anything's better than just being in the house, that's for sure. Okay, so I got, the cellar pretty clean, clean enough anyways for us to escape a tornado or something. And there's no spiders or scorpions out right now because the temperatures are still cool enough. But let's talk about some of the items that is a good idea to keep in your cellar or bunker. You know, most of the tornadoes in Oklahoma, you get a pretty good warning. You know, you might have 30 minutes or something, but sometimes these tornadoes can touch down they can form right above you and touch down really quickly so you got to be ready to go if you know there's a chance of tornadoes at least have your cell phone uh, weather radio something to alert you if there's a tornado warning issued especially if you cannot hear your local community's uh, tornado sirens in Oklahoma I think every city and town has a tornado siren I'm not sure I know ours does and we try to watch the local weather and if you got a local weather station you can usually download their app on your phone and if a tornado is coming and they know that they will usually issue like an alarm signal to your cell phone but let's talk about some of the items that is important to have ready 
to go. Uh, one thing that we like to keep in our cellar is a rechargeable lantern that runs off the batteries. So this thing is really bright. We also have flashlights ready to go and we keep multiple flashlights. Um, another thing is candles. These candles are kind of old but they'll work in an emergency. So have your candles and of course have a lighter or some matches just in case your batteries and your flashlights or your lanterns do go out you'll have a little bit of backup lighting. And like I said earlier uh, when the tornado comes the storms usually move so quickly that they're not around for hours or anything like that. Usually it's one front that moves through on a storm and as soon as the tornado passes, which, you know, once the tornado forms, it might take two or three minutes to move over your area. Uh, that's why it's important to have a weather radio, cell phone, something where you can kind of watch the news or listen to the radio and they'll tell you when you're out of danger. And if you've ever been in a tornado, or been around even close to one, you can usually hear them. They're super loud and freaky sounding. All right, another item we like to have ready. So we got this plastic bin here that keeps everything weather tight, keeps the bugs and the rain out. And look here, we got MREs. So we got enough food in here to last several days for a family of four anyways. And we got a flashlight in there. It's been in here for like seven years, so I'm surprised it still works, but it does. So we got our lights covered, we got our food covered, and another number one thing you should for sure have in your cellar or bunker is a supply of water, enough to last everybody in there a few days. Um, you know, the, the tornado might take two or three minutes to move over your area, but here's what you got to think about. What if that tornado was so big like an F4 or 5 that it moved cars or buildings or through trees on the door of your cellar. And we live in a rural community, you know, there's not a lot of houses around. So it might be a day or so before people come and actually check on us. I mean, we got a lot of family that will probably call and check on us, so it would probably be several hours if a big tornado did hit before we'd get help here, but you never know what if everybody got whacked out for some odd reason you know it's good to have enough water and food to last your family for several days and we do have that here in our cellar or our bunker as is dutch calls it if you watch uh keeping it dutch's youtube channel check him out he's got a video on his bunker it's got over a million uh, views so anyways guys i just wanted to go over this quick video with you guys and show you what we do to prepare for these Oklahoma tornadoes. I know other states have tornadoes as well. And I know Alabama just got hit with one this week and it killed several people. So it's, it's nothing to take lightly. It's a very serious natural disaster that can happen in a flash of minutes. So just be prepared. Keep your family prepared. Keep your, all your items ready to go. And keep an eye on the news. They, they have several days usually in advance they know that a tornado is coming so thanks for watching this video if you're new to the channel subscribe check out my other videos and we'll see you next time